Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Ruben from Oxide. And yeah, as, as Nick mentioned, um, we build websites for various government and private industry clients. And we use Drupal primarily, which is a content management system uh, that allows people to make websites with um, fairly easy to use uh, interfaces for editing content. Um, and you can kind of go in there, edit a content with a rich text editor um, and publish publish your pages to the web without having to uh, to have developers involved in that kind of process. Um, and so Drupal comes out of the box with a lot of features for managing content. Um, users with different access levels, for example, editors um, could even have a special role for a taxonomy editor um, who can just edit taxonomies, um, which is distinct from someone who maybe administers the rest of the website. Um, so it gives you that kind of control. Um, it's very extensible and has a lot of um, community available plugins um, across a whole range of things, um, but it has quite a lot of tax on me related stuff, um, content categorization. Um, so I'm going to go through a bit of a demo now um, of just a very, very basic Drupal stuff, uh, show a bit of what you can get um, out of the box with kind of very, very little amount of setup. And yeah, so I'll, I'll share my screen now if that's all right. Um, so this is a Drupal homepage with that's basically just been turned on, uh, nothing else done, uh, no content in or anything yet. And there's an administration menu across the top, which I get because I'm an administrator. Um, and I've set up some taxonomies already, a couple of basic ones. Um, so there's uh, a page here where you can view all your vocabularies, um, easily add a new vocabulary, uh, which I can show you now. Um, and then it's added to the list and then I can add terms to that vocabulary. Um, terms can have a description as well, which can be used for various things. Um, and it's also fully extendable in that you can add any number of other fields to the term. Uh, so the term itself can have uh, potentially an image or some extra information associated with it. Um, and that's fairly powerful. Uh, can keep adding more and more uh, and go back and see, see the ones I've added. There's other alternate interfaces. Um, uh, which gives you different ways to add. Um, that one's quite a simple one. Um, doesn't let you ed edit those other fields and things like that. Um, then it's a fairly straightforward interface for editing the existing ones uh, or deleting terms out. Uh, there's always an are you sure if you delete something because it doesn't come back after that. Um, so there's a couple of others I, I created already. Um, this category one, I guess, is the most complex um, and this shows the hierarchy uh, functionality, which is also an out of the box feature. So you can go as many levels um, deep with the hierarchy as you want. Uh, you can use this interface to drag and drop things um, to reorganize that hierarchy. Um, and save that, it's all very, very straightforward. Um, no, I guess developer type experience required for any of this. Um, there's also, uh, this is not out of the box, however, it is um, available just by installing uh, an off the shelf plugin um, on top of Drupal. Um, just another way of uh, managing taxonomies uh, to give an example of the variety. Um, it's not quite as pretty an interface, this one, but it's much more functional. Um, so it's possible for me to move terms from one category, uh, from one vocabulary to another um, rather easily in this, in this screen. Um, and then can delete things. Uh, it's just, I guess, a, a bit less clicking uh, than the normal interface if you're, if you're dealing with a lot of taxonomy terms at the same time. Uh, 
that's the basics of that. And then when you're actually creating content, um, you can categorize all your content with these uh, vocabularies. So um, there's an article creating a new page. And then there's a whole bunch of different um, widgets, which I've uh, in put here as examples of how you can interact with these. Um, so the tagging one, um, this will auto complete from existing terms, um, but uh, Drupal calls it tagging. It essentially just means uh, that anyone can uh, add new terms to the taxonomy um, as they're going. Um, so the autocomplete will show me ones that are already in there, um, but I can also add my own in this in this case with this field. Um, this other widget is hooked also to that same one, um, but it's just a slightly different way of adding them instead of them just being a, a, a comma separated list. Um, it's a little bit more user friendly in terms of adding these. Um, another different one where you get a select field and also autocomplete within the same field. Um, basic radio buttons. Select fields, um, required fields or not required fields as indicated by the asterisk. Um, and this hierarchical select uh, widget which is on the category uh, that I showed you before, um, which is a slightly nicer way of selecting from these uh, multiple level taxonomies. Uh, and this one auto completes in the hierarchy is in the drop down. However, that one doesn't seem to be working for me uh, when I put it under pressure. Uh, field validation. And then this is a very unstyled page um, with all those uh, things that I just selected. Um, this is fully customizable in terms of what it looks like, uh, how you want to display that to the user. Um, you can also display it in different ways in different contexts. Um, and this automatically uh, links anything that's tagged with the same tags together. So by clicking the tree tag just now, I go to a list of all the content with tree tags. Um, and that's automatic functionality that's available just um, immediately. Um, and so that's, I guess that's a, a very quick introduction with a bunch of stuff that was put together um, very quickly by, with no coding at all, just um, clicking around. Um, Drupal being as extensible as it is, gives you pretty much unlimited capability to um, expand on that. Uh, there's hundreds of vocabulary taxonomy related modules around um, that add things like more widgets like that. Um, there's things like advanced search functionality, um, faceting, uh, limiting search results via taxonomies, um, filtering lists via taxonomies, that kind of thing. Um, there's also automated creation of menus and breadcrumbs um, via taxonomies that are attached to the content. Um, and more advanced things like access control. Uh, for example, you can have um, anything tagged with confidential as only accessible by certain people. Um, anything uh, that's secret, uh, an even smaller list of people can access that, that kind of thing. Um, so those kinds of uh, functionalities become quite powerful. Um, uh, the other thing that I didn't show before uh, that is available uh, is the ability to export and import 
um, CSV files or tab delimited files, that kind of thing, um, which is very straightforward uh, via the interface as well. Um, so that will let you import into different websites or um, back into the same website or just export to give to someone else to go into an entirely different system um, or import from an entirely different system. Um, and this is just another administration interface for managing the terms where I can edit um, all the different fields in, in one go without having to go in and edit each individual one. Um, another, sorry, another feature that is available um, relatively out of the box but requires a bit more configuration is um, multilingual. Uh, so Drupal has multilingual functionality uh, where content can be entered in multiple languages and then the user can view their language based on um, their account on the website. They can select their language um, and it will present whichever version of the taxonomy and content um, that's for that language. Um, so that kind of thing is quite powerful as well. Um, and that's all for now. That was just a very whirlwind tour. <laughs>